Hello and welcome to Learning Latin, Lesson 2, The Alphabet and Pronunciation. Now you have some idea of how the language works, I think the next thing to do is focus on being able to pronounce words. This could have waited, as it's the kind of thing you can pick up, but I'd like to make sure we're all on the same page. Now, you could say, I know the Latin alphabet, and I'm sure you do. I learned my ABCs as a small child. But the Latin we'll be working with, that of Cicero, had a different alphabet. There were only 23 letters. The letters J, V and W did not exist. Well, they kind of did, but we'll get to that. Let's start now from the beginning. The letter A. You would pronounce the letter A as A, like hat. Though sometimes you may get A long A, as is seen by this letter A with a line over the top called a macron. This means you would pronounce it as R, like father. You would pronounce the letter B the same as in English. You would pronounce the letter C as a hard C, like card. It's never a soft C, like cider. You would pronounce the letter D as in English. You would pronounce the letter E as E, like tent. You would pronounce a long E, like A, as in cafe. You would pronounce F as in English. You would pronounce the letter G as G, like game. You would pronounce the letter I as I, like igloo. You pr would pronounce a long I as E, like sheep. Then sometimes you have a case where the letter I acts as a constant. This would become the letter J in English. You pronounce this as a Y kind of sound, like U. The letter K you would pronounce as in English. You would pronounce the letter L like in English. You would pronounce the letter M like M, as in man. But if it was at the end of a word, it would be more like an extension of the previous vowel, as in m, such as puerum. The letter n you would pronounce as in English. The letter o you would pronounce as o, like cot. A long o you would pronounce as u, like beautiful. The letter P you would pronounce in it as in English. The letter R would be a rolled R. The letter S would be a S sound, as in sink. The letter T would be a T sound, as in tin. The letter U would be a U sound, as in gut. A long U would be a U sound, as in tool. And then sometimes a U can act like a constant, which is where we get the letter V from. But we pronounce it like the letter W, which is where that letter comes from. So you would pronounce it like a W sound, as in win. X you would pronounce as in English. The letter Y is a tricky sound, as it's one that we don't use in English. It's a kind of a U sound. And the letter Z you would pronounce as in English. Now, let's look at what happens when you put some letters together. When you get A and E together, it makes a I sound, like kite. When you get a A and a U together, it makes a ow sound, as in how. When you get a C and a H together, it makes a k sound as in pack. When you get a E and I together, it makes a A sound, as in day. When you get E and U together, it makes a EU sound. When you get O and E together, it makes a OI sound, as in 
toy. P and H you would pronounce as an English. Um, Q and U you would pronounce as a qu sound, like quick. And T and H you would separate, as in pot house. Lastly, we have emphasis. If a word has one syllable, it will have emphasis, such as fur, which means thief. This doesn't count for prepositions, but we'll cover those later. If it has two syllables, it will go on the first syllable, such as POSCO, I demand. If a word has more than two syllables, emphasis goes on the penultimate syllable. If it is a heavy syllable, such as mentionta, they lie. But if not, it goes on the antipenultimate, third from last, symbol, imperator, meaning commander. Got all that? Good. These are the rules, but I am afraid that while recording in the future, I may forget something, so trust what was said here. Remember, you can find us online if you like what you've seen. Check out the website, the Facebook page, the Twitter page, or drop me an email. I'll see you soon for Lesson 3, when we cover some basic verbs.